so excited. Thank you guys for taking time out of your Tuesday evening to come hop on with us. If you're not doing something like super weird, let's turn our cameras on. It's so much more fun to be able to see your beautiful faces instead of all the little black boxes. So I'm so excited. We're going to be talking more in detail all about Ruby. So I want you guys to, everyone on here, you're going to be in one of two categories, okay? Drop a one in the chat if you are going Ruby this month, if that's what we're working for, if you're ready to go, or drop a two in the chat, you guys, if you are helping someone go Ruby this month. Either you're doing it yourself or you're about to help someone do it the same way you've done it before. So I am so excited as we dive into what Ruby is and how to do it. So why Ruby and why right now? Because Ruby is the foundation of this business. Stephanie Dunn, number one income earner, makes over $100,000 a month, right? insane income. She didn't do that by doing anything other than Ruby. That's it. This entire business from day one to day forever is built on this single concept. You will always be in one of those two categories. Either you're going to be going Ruby or you're going to be helping someone go Ruby. And that is the simplest way to look at this business, guys. That is the only two things that are required is you are going to hit this promotion and then you're going to help someone else do it. And then you're going to help someone else do it. And you're going to teach them how to help someone else do it. And before you know, you're going to be creating an entirely life-changing income just by learning how to master Ruby. So if you guys are brand spanking new, Ruby is just three friends doing this business with you and between the three of them and you, a total of 2000 in volume. So nothing insane. We're not going to have you go recru recruit an entire basketball team or nothing, just three people. And we're going to sell some of these awesome products, right? And why Ruby now? Guys, there's a Ruby bonus. Okay. So in case some of you guys who are brand new and need a little bit of encouragement to know that you can go Ruby this month and it's your, you know, you just got started. So I went Ruby in my first 30 days of this business back four and a half years ago, and we had a Ruby bonus on the table. Guys, this bonus, when I earned it, was the main reason I've stuck with the company for four and a half years. Not only did I just go Ruby and I was so excited, but I earned a freaking bonus. I got the same one you guys are talking about. I got to start telling people, and I earned this bonus on top of commissions. And it just was like this huge foundational piece for me to really start seeing the money in this company. And so guys, we have a $500 Ruby bonus on the table this month. But like we were just saying, Ruby, that's three friends working with you. So if you bring in three friends, and then you go out and you hustle and you get your customers, right? So if you go out and get 12 customers, and we're upselling, we're doing good, right? That is three tier one bonuses, you guys. That's $450 more. But we're doing this together, right? We're going to go Ruby and we're going to teach Ruby. So you're going to be teaching these three people you come in to go do their four and one, which is three tier two bonuses for you, which is right over $1,000. But what happens when we do three tier ones and three tier twos? That triggers a success bonus for you, which is another 1500 And then because we're bossing out and we're going and we're doing the whole thing of Ruby, that promotes you to an average of $390 in commissions. Why Ruby? Why now? Is because when I went Ruby four and a half years ago, with our bonuses, I made less than $1,000. Going Ruby this month, with the bonuses on the table and all of that, you're looking at almost $4,000 for going Ruby. Guys, there has never been a better time to get serious about building the foundation in your business and getting paid handsomely to do so. And so I'm so excited to hear from a couple of other girls about how they've helped build their business to Ruby and then help some of their team do so as well. So Laura, if you want to hop in um, and give us some of your tips on going Ruby. All right. Hello, guys. Hello. So excited to talk about this because you guys, Ruby, like Mariah was saying, is definitely, it's like the backbone of the company. Once you learn how to go Ruby, 
There is nothing you can't do. Nothing. Like all ambas the only difference between like Ruby and ambassador is just the number of rubies on your chart. That's literally, that's it. I mean, granted, it's a big lot different, but it's still just a bunch of rubies. So why Ruby? Because it's like, granted, it's not even the first promotion because let's not over, you know, let's not forget executive. Executive is important as well, but Ruby is like the foundation. Okay. When we were at conference, Misha Tate talked a lot about building that house, right? Ruby is kind of like the base of your house. This is the base of your foundation. Once you can master this, you can build your house as strong as you need to build it. And so when Mariah said we were going to talk about all things Ruby, she kind of said, you know, hey, just talk about a couple things that helped you when you went Ruby or you helped your team go Ruby. And it was a while ago that I went Ruby. Like it was back in 20, I think so. I don't know. It's been a minute. Okay. A lot of life has happened. The last couple of years are crazy. But one of the things I need you guys to hear me when I say this, be okay and willing to pivot. Okay. I will say that again, be willing to pivot in this business. And that's not just for Ruby. That is for everything. But in particular, I felt I didn't pivot as much as I did when I was going Ruby. When I went Ruby, there was, I don't know. It, it was, it was, I don't know what happened, but it was like, I felt like I was just constantly being like tossed and turned in all kinds of ways. And I needed to just pivot what I was doing, focus on what was working. And I needed to go and have movement. Okay. There was no staying stagnant. I needed to move. I needed to message the people. I needed to not care when somebody told me, no, I needed to realize what was this going to do for me? What was Ruby going to do for me? And I needed to attach that to an actual dollar amount. I needed to attach it to an emotional attachment for me, which was my kids. Okay. I got a 15 year old son who likes to play baseball and football. I've got my nine year old daughter who is in soccer. I've got my six year old daughter who does gymnastics. You guys know how expensive extracurricular activities are. But do you know how amazing it is to watch them grow into their own little individual selves? Do you know that going Ruby meant that I could not only pay for all of their extracurricular activities, but also cover the cost of any of the equipment or uniforms or anything they needed without having to dip into our bills? Do you know that when I went Ruby, my husband was out of work for nine months because of a bad car accident because some drunk lady drove down the highway the wrong way and smashed into him at like 70 miles an hour? Do you know that when I went Ruby, I felt like my world was falling apart? And that's what told me something big is going to happen. If you feel like everything is against you, praise God, thank Jesus, all the things. Because usually when everything seems like it's going wrong, it's because somebody is trying to make things go wrong. You have got to pivot. You have got to work on your mindset. You have got to keep pushing forward. Always have momentum. Always keep moving. Ruby is not... I, I don't want I don't want you to hear me and think that I'm saying Ruby's a small goal, okay? But I don't want you to hear me and say that it's like this massive goal because it is important, but it doesn't need to be as scary as what maybe you're making it out to be. It does not need to be scary. It is simply you and three friends. A lot of us, our first distributors, are our friends. It's people close to us. Whether that be your sister, your mom, your husband, a best friend. I always say, find your best friend because usually we like to do a lot of fun stuff. Wouldn't it be more fun if you could work with your best friend and make some money and do all the things? I didn't necessarily have that. I found my best friends in this business. My husband is one of my legs, but outside of that. But anyways, you guys, I, I digress. I, I go on tangents. I'm sorry. I should have had notes. But the main things I need you to hear is be willing to pivot, push forward with movement. What does that mean? That means do something. Do all the things every day. And I don't like to just say do all the things because I feel like everybody says, just do all the things. What are all the things? Know what those things are. When I went Ruby, I had a printed out task list. Granted, I have one on my phone now and I use it on my phone. 
When I went in Ruby, though, I had this printed out every single day and I checked it off and checked it off. I wrote down everything. I wrote down my goals every single day. Because you guys, nobody is going to go after your goals and your dreams with more urgency or enthusiasm or fight for it as hard as you will. You have got to be willing to recognize what those goals and dreams are. Write down exactly what you're going to do with that $500 bonus. And that I just want you to just focus on the $500 bonus. But like Mariah said, you're going to earn so much more getting to that $500 bonus. There's the success bonus. There's the tier one and tier two bonuses. You are talking about getting a comma in your paycheck in these next 30 days. I remember the first time I had a comma in my paycheck and I almost cried. Because the fact that I can have a comma in my paycheck from sitting at home on my couch, working on my phone, my life was forever changed, okay? Know exactly what you're going to do with this bonus. Be so unshakable in your goal and just move towards it. Forget what people say. They're going to say no sometimes. There's going to be some negativity. You have got to have the mindset that your goals are more important than what little Susie down the street has to say about your new network marketing gig. Because little Susie's not paying your bill. Little Susie's not paying for Timothy to go play baseball. Little Susie's not helping me at all. So little Susie's going to be unfriended from a Facebook account. And I'm just going to move on and find the next one. Be so unapologetic in chasing your dreams. And once you hit Ruby, you will understand you can do anything. Pivot, momentum, just go. Just, just, just go. Just I move. I love all of that, Laura. I love it. I love how you're talking about so much about just going and creating that momentum. Guys, like I said, I went Ruby in 30 days. And just like Laura was saying, it's not this crazy huge goal, but it's also not an easy goal. And I will never lie to you and say that it's easy to do it in 30 days because it's not. But the key to it is getting in motion. I was the epitome of ignorance on fire, you guys. I haven't told this in so long. And it's, <laughs> if you know me, you just like, this makes sense. But when I was going Ruby, I so was so blinded by the fact that I knew I could do it and I would do whatever it took that I was selling coffee and like, or I sell you a Thermofide X telling people, or Thermofide at the time, and telling people it was coffee because I didn't take the time to read the products. I just knew that I had to sell it to them because it was going to help. So I was like having to call people and be like, so we just switched it. It's actually a pill and not coffee. And like try to dig myself out of this hole because I had no idea what I was doing. But I just was told that if I talked to enough people, if I believed in the products and I went for it, I could do it. And I said, okay, and I jumped in and I ran so blindly. And yes, I recommend do some homework, use your resources. Don't tell people the wrong thing. But the point is, is you can't be so focused on finding all the answers. You forget to start the journey. You just have to put the, the end result in your GPS. That's your job, right? The GPS's job then is to tell you where to go next. And you're not looking 12 turns down the road because if you do that, you're going to miss the next turn. Your job is to put the end result going Ruby. You got your map. That's your chart. And now it's to get on the road and go to the next turn. Just the next right thing. If you don't have any distributors, go find a friend to do this business with you. That's the next right thing. I know you need three for Ruby, but if you're so focused on three, you're never going to find one. Do the next right thing. You need 2,000 in volume. If you don't have customers, go find a customer. Yep, you need more than one, but start with one. Do the next right thing. How do you eat an elephant, you guys? one bite at a time. Don't be so focused on figuring out exactly how to get to this end result that you miss each turn along the way. We just got to show up and do the next right thing that's going to take us one step closer to our dreams. I'm so excited. Now, Macy, if you want to hop in here and give us some of your tips on going Ruby. Oh my gosh, you guys always pump me up and I hate having to go after y'all, but I'm so excited. Um, well, first of all, my major thing is always putting God first. So self-development, whether it's being in the Bible, devotional, whatever it may be, watching a YouTube video, 
um, all the things. But when I first started and when I was going for Ruby, I was plugged in everywhere. So I was on the team pages. I was on team Zoom. So props to y'all for being on the team Zoom. Um, I was listening to YouTube recordings from every top leader ever, learning all the things, um, learning about the products. I was getting on the family call. So um, definitely plug in every chance that you get. And I know back then I was a college student. I was working three jobs. So I get it. Like everybody has their busy schedules, but like find there's so many calls out there that go along with everybody's schedule. So find one that works for you um, and let them like pour that belief and vision into you. And that's going to get your excitement going. And um, sorry if you hear the dogs in the background, they're like playing, but so, <laughs> But um, my first month, I worked so, so, so hard, and it was a $29 check. Mm -hmm. I could have gave up. I worked so, so hard, um, but I always I always love the idea of, sorry, <laughs> my, my train of thought is losing, mm -hmm. but I love the idea of not giving up before the harvest, so all the hard work that I put in, if I would have given up, I would have never saw my second month, the $200 check and $200 in bonuses. And the third month I got a $500 check and 800 in weekly bonuses. Now, back then those bonuses were only $99. Now they're 150 and 350. So just imagine the math, um, eight, eight of those, but I don't know, but don't give up before the harvest. Um, I took notes Jocelyn Yates took nine months to go executive, but three years to go ambassador. So what if she would have given up on um, month eight or month seven or month six because she wasn't even executive yet? She would have never hit ambassador. And then our first Black Diamond, correct me if I'm wrong, Mariah, but I'm pretty sure her first distributor wasn't until her sixth month. And then for six months in a row, she made 100000 a month. So imagine if she would have given up on her fifth month. Um, and then, of course, the last thing I wrote for my notes is to just do your daily tasks, like they said. Um, finding the list that works for you, whether it be host to post. And back then, we did not have host to post. Y'all are lucky. Y'all are so lucky. So, again, host to post, following up, posting, mm -hmm. self-development, all the things. Um, and, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> I love that. I love how you brought up with Jocelyn and Cammy. Like, it's so true. We love to. One of the, the thief of all joy, okay, guys, is comparison. And especially when you're pushing for a goal, when other people are also pushing, it's so easy to look left and right and be like, well, Sally Q signed 13 distributors. Like, she's doing so much better than me. I can never compare to that. But the thing is, it's Cammy Pentecost, okay? the first black diamond, but also the founder's daughter. Okay. You want to come in with some pressure? The founder's daughter, it took her six months in the business to sign her first team member. Okay. Like if you're doubting yourself, imagine being in the position of being like, well, my daddy owns the company and I still can't get anyone to join me. All right. <laughs> we have no excuses here. We can make this thing happen. And the, the thing is, guys, you're never going to be closer to your promotion than you are in this exact moment. Next month, you're not going to wake up closer. The next month, you're not going to wake up closer. Your business is constantly evolving with ebb and flow. You're never closer to your next promotion than you are now. So there's no better time than right now to decide you're ready to go get after it. I think one of the most important things when going for a promotion in, in Ruby is to be excited and be loud. I remember when I went Ruby four and a half years ago, I was a newlywed. I'd only been married a couple months. Um, I was working 40 plus hours. I would commute three plus hours a day. I had like no time. So I was doing things in the little pockets of time I could find. And then I'm trying to find cheats to help me out, right? Like I wanted to be excited and enthusiastic, but guys, let's be honest. It's really hard to be excited and enthusiastic working 40 plus hours, commuting three plus hours a day, struggling with finances and not having that success yet in your business. Like how am I supposed to convey this energy when like I'm so beat. And so I would literally go pace. And I would just start walking laps around the house, get my energy up. I'm a little winded. And then I would go voice message. 
because when you voice message and you're winded and you don't tell someone you're winded, then it comes across with a different energy. It's just the fact that you're real tired, but something as small as that, when I'm voice messaging, I'm getting out of breath. I'm getting hyped. I'm telling them like, you got to do this business for X, Y, Z. And people were just buying my hype. I was messaging the girls as they joined me and I was voice memoing and everyone was thinking I was so on fire. Really? My lungs were just on fire. But sometimes you got to fake it till you make it till you have the success. We find those little, those little secrets to do as we go. And you do all the things like Laura said, all the things you have to be so willing to do whatever guys, this business is not selective. If it works for someone else, it will work for you. The only way it won't is if you don't work it. This business doesn't pick or choose. This business doesn't be like, Laura, you know what? I'm gonna bless you with some host to post, but Chad, not you, no host to post. Like, it doesn't work like that. If Chad wants to work like Laura wants to work, both of them can have the same success. So if you're not seeing success in your business, I want you to look at the thing you're not doing. Because there's always an empty spot. There's always something someone else is doing, seeing success with, and you're saying, oh, that isn't working for me or, oh, that won't work for me. But I can promise you, this business does not have the power to discriminate. It can work with you too. So right now, what's working? Host to post is always working. Going live on Facebook, guys, it's working. Reels, it's working. Are you doing those things? Getting in person is working. Have you done vendor events? Like, let's go old school here. We don't even talk about this anymore, guys. When I went Ruby, I did two vendor events and a house party that month. It was awful and terrifying, but <laughs> I did it. It was my first month in the business, guys. You want to talk about ignorance on fire? I went to a freaking vendor event. The first time I even opened a pack of wraps was on stage at a vendor event when I wrapped myself, not even knowing how to unfold the thing, while also trying to hold a microphone and talk about why these people needed this product, okay? You get out there, you get uncomfortable, and you do whatever, we work really hard for a short amount of time and then we can live forever on, on so much less work. But during the promotion seasons, that's important. It's a season. A season is not a year. A season is not a lifetime. It is not fall forever. It's a season of dedication. It's a season of commitment. It's a season of uncomfortable. It's a season of trying. It's a season of sacrifice. And when we can commit for a season, we get to enter a new season afterwards with success, with ease, with grace, with a better paycheck, with a growing team, because we decided now to commit to this goal. Every single one of you is worthy of Ruby. And if you already are Ruby, then every single one of you is equipped with the know-how and the knowledge and the leadership capacity to go out and duplicate that within people. You guys are called here for a reason. It's time for you to take charge and change your life. Me and Laura both were talking about it. This entire business is built on Ruby. If you want to make $100,000 in a single month, you've got to first master Ruby for yourself and you've got to master it and teach it to other people. That's it. Stop overcomplicating it. Stop trying to find all of the answers. Simplify it. Dumb it down. Do your sevens, like your seven list. Do your KPIs. Do whatever your task list is called for you. Do it every single day. Be committed and then take that knowledge and then share it. That's it. That is the secret to success. What's working now? Host to post, okay? So if you're not getting five to 10 host to post up a day, that's the uncomfortable thing that you're about to do. That's the sacrifice you're about to make is you're gonna figure out how the heck to do it. There's so many trainings out there. If you guys need one, go to my YouTube where you find this recording. I have multiple host to post specific trainings on there. What's working right now? Reels. If you're not doing it, that's what you're doing. And not tomorrow. Gosh forbid, one of you guys want to come tell me you tried it tomorrow. We're not people who push things off, right? There's no better time to the present. So I want to see host to post up tonight. I want to see a real posted tonight. 
what else is working? Going live on Facebook. Okay. Who does that anymore? It's super awkward. No, thanks. I went live a couple days ago. It's awful. I hate every moment of it, but you know what? It's working and I'm willing to do and be uncomfortable for my goals and dreams because I know my daughter is worth it. And I know that me getting on a live video is way less scary than get like sacrificing my dreams in the future. My daughter deserves. When you're sitting there and you're making the excuses of, well, I know my upline said I need to get up these hosts to post, but asking people to post makes me uncomfortable. Literally, when you choose not to, you're taking your goals and dreams, you're taking the task, put them on a scale, but do it, do it like with your hands, okay? Get, get visual. And you're saying putting post on host to post is more important than my daughter's future, than paying for dance class than coming home from my job, than being able to pay for groceries, than being able to get off welfare, than being able to whatever that goal is. You're saying that being comfortable is more important than your future. Guys, that's just not the case. I promise getting a little com uncomfortable ain't never killed nobody. And that goal and that dream is put in your heart and your spirit for a reason. God calls us to a life of abundance. Abundance has to be created. We have to walk into it. He gives us blessings. He gives us miracles. He gives us mercies, but he puts them here. He's never going to force his mercy and grace and blessings and miracles on you. It's going to be here and you have to stand up and walk to it. And that's what this business is doing. That's what showing up daily and doing your tasks, doing your host to post, posting consistently, going live, about anything. I saw the question there. You guys have to get me sometimes. I get going and I don't even pay attention to the chat, but I did see about going live. Go live about anything. That's the biggest like misconception in my opinion about this business is you got to be professional about going live to talk about the business. And honey, boo, that's just not it. The reason you're going live is because your audience is never going to buy from an ad. They're going to buy from a person. And your no one's going to join an ad. They're going to join a person. And when you're going live, you're talking in your stories, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to slip up and say weird word. A naked baby's going to run through. A dog's going to bark. Like you're going to get a phone call. Like you're going to say, um, 700 times, like something's going to happen that all of a sudden takes you from this picture, perfect social media person to you become a real person. That's what people want. They want to know that you're flawed like them. They want to know that you struggle like them. They want to know that you don't talk the best like them. They want to know that you don't have the best lighting like them. They want to know that you got stains in your carpet like them. Like people want to be able to relate. And when we're going live about the business, not about the business, I went live a couple days ago talking about something I've been reading in the Bible and how God's been working in me. And like, that's showing who I am. My business is then reflected. My posts get more interaction. The conversations I have are a little bit different because people are now seeing me as a real person. I'm no longer just some pretty person hiding behind pictures that are, have a good filter on them on social media. I become real. And that's so important, guys, to be authentic through social is such a difficult task. But the people who are having the more success are the people who are learning how to overcome that. It's not even the point of this Zoom and I'm about to go in for like a little... This is so important is times are shifting. Come big companies like Walmart, Amazon, companies like that are spending less on ads for social media and more on in-person kind of things. That whole economy is shifting from targeting on social media. So when we are trying to be an ad on social, we are literally wasting our time. No one wants to go to your page and see a bunch of it work stuff and be like, that's it. I want that. That's not it. They want to join a person who's real. Well, I sign customers the most when I'm sharing my before and afters. I lost 35 pounds after having my daughter. You best believe I share it all the dang time. And I share more so about the story because there's nothing wrong. If you don't have your results, you still can build authentic marketing that way because so many people are sharing their story. So I share about how I didn't have time to work out as a new mom and was able to switch my coffee and lose weight. You see stories pop up all the time to share. You've got to build that authentic. You've got to bridge that gap going live. 
writing your own content, not talking about the business every single day. Like I'll be the one to say it. Like we don't have to post about products or the business every single day. That's not the way the marketing is working right now with trends. It's more important to create a reason for people to watch you to relate to you and then sprinkle in a little business because that's what you want people to do. We're in the people changing business, not the it works business. Like, yes, that's the header at the top and the one who signs our paycheck, but God's called us here for a bigger purpose. And we're here to show up and to change lives. And that starts with connecting. Sometimes that's all it takes. People just need someone that's gonna be happy and a place that they can go to feel good. And then we also get to help people change their finances and we get to change their health. Like we are in the people helping business business, you guys. And the whole point of going Ruby is just helping more people. That's it. You help more people than you did yesterday. And you help more people than you did the day after that. And you keep going. And all of a sudden you become a professional people helper and you get paid really good to do it. Like, heck, freaking yeah, I'm down with that. So do you guys, um, that last part, I lost all of my notes and we've hit time. So if you have any questions, you want to put them in the chat real quick. And I am going to go ahead and end the recording and pray us out if there's no questions. But the biggest thing, guys, when it comes to Ruby is you've got to do it. You've got to do it. Like Macy was saying, like Laura was saying, you've got to do it. No one is going to wake up one day and sprinkle ruby dust on you. You're not waiting for anything. You are called. You are equipped. You are destined. You are worthy. Now it's time for you to own up to that. You to take charge, put legs to those prayers, go out and do the dang thing. All right. All right. Now let me end this recording and I will pray us out, you guys. But I appreciate all of you guys taking time, again, out of your Tuesdays. I'm doing this every single week. So if you need a place to plug in, you can always call us home. We are one team, one mission right here. Same time, same ID, every Tuesday. Also, I always post a recording on my uh, team, or on my my uh, YouTube, I forgot what that was called. So you guys are welcome to share that as well. But dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this group of men and women. I'm just so blessed to have a chance to connect with them. I feel so strongly what you're doing within this group of people and within this company right now. I feel you moving. I see it happening. Please continue to draw the dreams out. I'll teach them to dream again, want more, desire more, and learn to be better hands and feet of you to go out and touch more lives to change more people because I know the more we focus on others the more you're going to be able to do in our lives as well use us bless others and help change our lives in the process we are so thankful for all you're doing here in Jesus name we pray amen you guys and I am so excited because I know either some of you guys are going ruby or you're taking someone ruby and I'm so proud of both of sides of that I love you guys so much and I will see you next week